Hello there. I hope you're having a great day today. My name is Robin Bremer. RobinBremer.net is my website. <clears throat> and I'm going to kind of be sharing a little bit of some things God shared with me from my one of my newer books called uh, Use Your Words and Change Your Business, Family, and Life. One of the things that he, God says to me is, see, th these books start off like this. <laughs> this is what I do. I find scriptures that really speak to me that pop out at me, that become alive to me, that God dissects and says something. And I just, you know, type them in there. And, and so I just, you know, I do it four on a sheet. And then I copy, stable it together in a little book. And I carry it with me wherever I go. And I confess these things. And I just speak them out loud. And I kind of think, I meditate on them. I think about it like like First John 4, 16, 19. I have known and believed the love that God has for me. God is love. I abide in love. God abides in me. And I make it in the first person. And I just think on it, you know, I know and believe the love that God has for me. The love God has for me. I know and I believe it. And I just like think on it. And it gives me revelation, knowledge. And God begins to share other scriptures with me and builds upon it. And that's how I've been able to write all the, the 16 books that I've written so far. And today I just want to share with you about your words of your mouth. One of the things God said to me that I carry around, <clears throat> actually, I go through these little booklets uh, a couple a month, like once a week it changes and I add more to it. Well, one of the things, I write it in the front and I write it in the back. And then it goes in the book and it changes and it grows as I get a grasp on it. But one of the things that God said to me recently, actually somebody else said, somebody, I read it in a book. Uh, it says, if you, if, you ain't, if you aren't saying anything, you're not growing anything. So the key to success in your life is actually growing. Because let me, from my book here, you can get a hold of this. But basically, in this book, uh, it goes over some of the things I'm going to share today. And you really want to, if you either want to buy this book or you want to go to my website and get it free as a uh, PDF file. Instantly download it. But basically... If God said, let there be light, and there was light, and he says, let there be this, be this, be this, be this, and he saw that it was good. And then he said, let's create man in our image. Our, God's image is to speak. If he created the words with words, words, and he upholds all things with the, power, with the word of his power, and we get saved by speaking words and receiving the free gift of salvation, and the word of God says if two or three agree with our words we can have what we say and everything is by speaking we we have creative life in us to speak and create things and so it's so important that we learn to take over the atmosphere and create heaven on earth by speaking the words that God speaks he said, He has given us all things we need for life and godliness. No good thing with, will He withhold from us. So if we, are, if we have need of some good thing like health or healing, then it's not God holding it back from us because it says that He has given it to us and He has given us all things we need for life and godliness according to the knowledge. So you have to get knowledge in the Word that says that he has given you this by the stripes we have been healed so right there is knowledge of the word that any sickness and any disease does not have no power no authority to be in your body and you by the words of your mouth whether you have to say it for a year every day five times a day or just say it once you have the authority to take god's word by the stripes of jesus you have been healed and above all else, he wishes you to be healthy and to prosper, and be in health as you prosper, prosper and be in health as you, soul prospers. So, he doesn't withhold anything from you. He's given you all you need for life and godliness. By the stripes of Jesus, you have been healed. All those things say that healing is already yours. So, what you have to do is speak it out of your mouth. Your body has to hear your spirit say, be healed. You are healed in Jesus' name. By the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. I don't allow whatever cancer or whatever the sickness is in your body. I don't allow it in Jesus' name. You have to speak it. If you want to change anything in this life and in this world, it starts with the words of your mouth. 